Hey guys, welcome to the Reloom live stream. On today's episode, we are having a special live speed build and we want you guys to join us today. So uh, if you guys look at the description below in, in uh, YouTube, we have two files ready for you guys. We have a Figma wireframe uh, for the winning design and then we also have a Webflow clonable. So if you guys want to like put the YouTube on one screen and then build with us on the other, uh, it'd be really fun. So um, also a uh, little note, we did release the clonable like um, yesterday, but then we just updated it like an hour ago. So make sure to just quickly uh, re-download that. It has, I think it has assets in it, right, Adam? Yeah, I think, I think so. It should have assets, but Webflow takes a while to update, so. We have included a link to the assets uh, in the Slack channel. Okay, awesome. Right, so join our Slack channel. Uh, so yeah, please uh, join us. And then we, if you can publish it at the end and share it at the end of the stream, uh, share it in the comments, we could uh, pop it in. So let me put some more music in there. Uh, all right, so we have Devin Fountain back with us, winner of the Realm Rumble from episode 10. Welcome back, Adam. Uh, uh, Devin, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so today is going to be a good one. Uh, and obviously, we have Adam to build it live. Uh, so question for the audience. Um, how many minutes do you guys think it's going to take for Adam to finish? Do you guys think 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes? I don't know. So let's, let's hear your thoughts. So before we start, let's uh, welcome the crowd and uh, yeah, let's see who's here. Isaac, don't even know if I'm gonna be able to watch this and uh, <laughs> multitask. Hey Oliver, good to see ya. We got John Saxon watching on mute while the baby goes down. Yes. Yeah, close captioning, you're good. Eric, good to see ya, man. Eric, my man. So good to see him at uh, State of Flow in person. This is great. Peter. Good to see you, buddy. We got the Tom Away stuff, I think. Uh, Isaac, welcome. Nice stash. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you. Eric saying 24 minutes. Okay, not bad. Hey, Matt, good to see you. 24 minutes. <laughs> Jeez, the bro saying 30 on. minutes. Can't, can't get past 30 seconds. Oh, we got a new, new pressure. 22 minutes. Dan, good to see you. All right, guys. Oh, Dan. <laughs> Dan I, I'm, I'm going to pull up Price is Right, and I'm going to say uh, one minute, because like if you go over, it's, it's too far. <laughs> uh, so good. All right. Isaac's got to update his <laughs> profile. All right, guys. So uh, good to see you guys. So here's the quick agenda. We're going to go over uh, Devin's design. Uh, he did update it a little bit since we last uh, did the stream. And so we're going to go over that, critique it a bit, and then dive right into the Webflow build. So with that, let's, uh, let's get at it. So if you guys um, go into the Figma file, um, I'm going to just let you lead it a bit, Devin. Okay. Yeah, so I know that I'm the winning design and I loved Brandon's, don't get me wrong. Um, and I wanted to keep it really close to the actual original. I feel like if I were to deviate too far, it would almost be like cheating, right? Like I had done this in 30 minutes and so whatever I wanted to do here, I didn't want it to be too far from the original. So I just wanna walk through some of the, the different changes. I updated a lot of the photography. I was I really enjoyed Brandon's middle section with all of his products here, and I liked how clean that looked, and so I decided to bring that over because I felt mine was a little too busy. It's still not too far from the original. Um, the Rayloom library stuff was another thing that I changed kind of the last second during the <laughs> challenge, and not quite what I wanted to do. It's a little too stretched, and so I decided to go the safer route and put something really nice, like cop the drop here with some outline text, which we can do with some CSS, updating a lot of the, the product photography. And then one thing that I made a huge mistake on in the actual challenge was putting a bright CTA here and then putting two back to back, which is a big no-no for me. I only want one. So I brought just, just one back, added a couple more nav links, added the sort of outline text a little bit 
nice. sprinkled it throughout the design to kind of give it a little more dynamic nature. You can kind of see that here. There's not too big a difference between this version and the other version. Kept it very same, kind of toned it down a little bit. And then to the hover state. So in the original version, I had a fake cursor here, which uh, we're not gonna do. Because I'm not a I'm I'm personally not a fan of cursors, like custom ah, cursors okay. on websites for accessibility purposes. But we had this little uh, little hover state here. Um, I felt like it was maybe a little too loud, uh, and ironically, I toned it down here, but made it a little louder on the actual hover state. Because when you're hovering on collaborations, you don't need to see the rest of that stuff. You just want to see that. So it needs to be cool. Nice. And then the last section, not too far from the original as well. I think I removed the blur from here because it felt a little unnecessary and like a last second addition. And I also toned down the scaling. So it's a little more appropriate. Followed by nice. some light changes in the footer, adding fake, uh, fake links at the bottom, renaming some things and swapping that black button from an orange button because orange on orange, I mean, who's going to sign up for the newsletter? They can't even see it. Mm. That's pretty much it. Kept it really simple. I don't want to don't want to stray too far. <laughs> Very true. Nice. Eric saying the original You've nailed good, the copywriting. Refined. You've nailed the copywriting as well. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um so Adam, did you want to go over more details on the components or should we just jump right into it? Yeah, how how's my internet by the way? Cuz I feel like I'm lagging little bit of a lag, but I think you should be okay. Yeah, uh, you're good. Sounds good. Oops. Cool, cool, cool. No, I love it. I love the updates, Devin. I think um, I particularly love the copywriting. I think it's it's quite funny. Cloud status in a box. Love it. Um, and I think the updates, particularly like the product section, I like that you've like taken a bit of a different approach here. You've made it, uh, I guess, the white background makes like all the products sort of equal whereas yeah. the original design it almost like didn't um and i think that was a nice touch overall it's just super consistent and nice you've done a great job and i'm very keen to build this nice so let's jump in should we all get right. started let's do it let's cool. uh get your screen up there i'm gonna swap it in while we're waiting um, Devin, for those who don't, who didn't watch episode 10, how dare they, uh, why don't you, uh, share a little bit about yourself and good time agency? Yeah. So, um, I'm just a solo designer running a, a solo agency. Um, it's called good time where design is a subscription agency and, um, we primarily target, you know, small businesses that want to embrace curiosity and kind of explore fun, new ideas. Cause I think a lot of love companies are, are, are to take Ooh. I, I want to hold your hand and show you that like internet can be fun and useful oh nice yeah it's a bit there. of a lag there yeah a little bit it's all good if you have lots of uh oh, chrome tabs try to close them adam if you can share your screen and we'll get this ready let's do it hey devin um what's your ba is your background in like design like Product design. Oh, he's dropped out. Uh oh, uh, yeah. I've been uh, I've been to a product. Uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Devin. <laughs> Let me check my connection. <laughs> while uh, while we're uh, doing that, check my connection too. While we're uh, while we're doing that. Yeah, all good. We're gonna start the time timer pretty soon. Uh, Adam, okay. We'll... Yeah. So you so firstly, firstly. Um, if you haven't already cloned this project, if it doesn't have the assets in it, uh, go to the Slack channel and there should be the assets there. I've created a zip file you can just drag and drop them. But I'm going to go and clone the project myself right now. I love and these. Really this is going to be. Yeah, go ahead. This, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be a bit of a speed build, but also I'm gonna I'm gonna like slow down a little bit so that you guys can build with me as well. I I'm confident I can build this in within the hour. I don't think I'm gonna build it in 12 <laughs> okay. minutes. Sorry, Dan, um, but yeah, let's uh I guess let's let's get started. So the first thing nice. I'm just gonna do 
is oh nice so the acids have finally made it into the right on. Pool. Good yeah stuff. nice cool all right so the first thing i'm gonna do uh, uh like for every project i'm gonna start with the style guide um by the way i have the design here that i can reference oh as well. you know so what we forgot to... the fonts maybe uh we can fonts add are that. in there fonts are, fonts in, are there. in there okay okay good great uh it should be let's let's see Ooh, haha, <laughs> the fonts are not in there. One okay. sec. Okay. So let me try to bring that into Slack as well. No worries. Actually, Devin, are you so able to. The grand it's a grand yeah. deal, right? Yeah, it's a grand yes. deal. Okay. Whoa. All right, while Adam's doing that, join us. We're going to try to bring it into the Slack channel as well. All right. Right, I killed everything. Hopefully my internet is okay. <laughs> yeah, it's checking that a grand is in here. Awesome. Cool. It's in. Um, yeah, so Josh. Yes, sir. Are we going to add it to the Slack as well? I apologize, guys. I thought it had been added in, but it hadn't. So. Yep, I'm going to do that. Now we want to... Uh... Waff, or is that how you say it? W O F F? Yeah, Waff, okay. Waff, Waff 2. Waff 2, okay. So, whilst you do that, I'm going to move ahead. So, the first thing I'm going to do is update the fonts to a grandier. So, Devin, correct me if I'm wrong, but you use it across the entire design. Is, is that correct? I did, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Cool. All right, I'm going to start with the headings. Um, so, for reference, that's the H1. I'm going to say that's the H2. And I'll make up the H3s and H4s. So H1s, let's go 96 pixels. Convert that to rems. So I'm going to go H1 first. Go 96 divided by 16 rems. And I think we're using heavy, grand heavy it's called, which converts to 900 weight. Um, Next thing I'm going to do, it's it's all capitalized and pretty sure there's minus 2% with the, the the font size. So, yeah, Devin, why the minus 2%? This, this font in particular, I, I think a lot of the Pangram Pangram fonts have the widest gap between letters. And I think that for like larger display fonts, I really like to, to crush them down a little bit. I feel like they they sort of draw your eye a little more and they become more of like a graphic design element and less of something that you need to to read, right? Like I think that's like really important for a hero. It's like yeah. it's to grab your eyes to get you to the rest of the website. Nice, nice. No, I agree, I agree. And also for the line height, you've made it quite tight as well. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, same reason. Yeah. Nice. Don't worry, Adam. I, I made super, everything super really super easy. Fun. Everything is is uh, by 16 pixels or 8 pixels. So your REMs are solved for you, buddy. Nice. Thanks. Thanks for that, mate. All right. All right. Mr. So Born to Build, uh, I linked the Slack link in the chat so you can join us. And then go to the announcements channel. I've attached the uh, zip file for the fonts. Legend. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna make up the H5 because I don't think there's a H5 on the page. So I might just stick with what I had uh, as default. Oh shoot, I forgot to put the timer. There you go. You have a bonus right, five so minutes. For this font, I'm gonna use this as like the style for the H, 
H6 font just so I can quickly pick that out. So that is using text bold 16. Uh, okay, so this is a bit different. So you've you've mixed up the fonts here. You've made the spacing quite large. And so mm -hmm. I use EMs as like the translation to percentages. Um, so that converts 30% would convert to 0 0.3 EM. Uh, and then mm. knock this back. That's good advice, uh, and actually. Then, yeah, yeah, that's that's the conversion. And don't ask me why, it just is. <laughs> um, but but it but it works. All right, cool. So that's good. Now I've just got to update my uh, classes here, my heading classes, um, which, to be honest, uh, should just match. Okay. Uh, so, quick question here, Demetrius. What's the difference between the Reloom style guide and the uh, FinSuite style guide? That's good, a good question. question. I, I can answer that. I think um, just just smaller. Um, uh, increments of the the margins and things like that and then also reloom style guide includes the color palette section as well as well it's just a small additional like things like um i think like uh icons and buttons different styles of buttons and things like that so yeah and the icons are a great addition to have too mm -hmm. otherwise you're just gonna have to be dealing with exporting svgs yourself all day long from figma yeah, it's it's very similar. I mean, all the identical classes, we've just used different spacing classes. Mm -hmm. Ones that that suit, I guess, our design system that we use. Um, so like we use much smaller spacing. In the original um, client first uh, FinSuite clonable, they didn't use 24 pixels. And that's like probably my year most used styling, uh, my, my most used spacing. Um, I'd have to say, and so um, I wanted to include that in ours. Uh, so that's just like small differences there, but for the most part, it should be, you know, the same. All right, cool. So I've done my heading, which is probably the most time consuming part. Um, I'm now going to start adding in the colors just so I can uh, quickly reference them. So, I mean, I'm just going to reference the Figma file here. So the black, um, I'm going to actually update the swatch. So I'll just update update the swatch by doing this. It should just update it everywhere, um, which is probably not the most intuitive thing, to be honest. Uh, in most intuitive way to update, you have to sort of like edit, press the pencil, and it goes straight to here, but you can actually just update the swatch here. Okay, cool. All right, uh, I'm now going to add the, the color is red. Uh, just as... I guess just for reference, but um, gonna pull in the red that Devin's used. So tell me about this red, Devin. Why why this red? I think I literally color dropped it. There was a so yes. on on <clears throat> on the original Rumble there was like a strip, like a mood board, right? And Brandon and I shared the same strip, and so for me because my designs were on the right side. I ended up seeing most of the right strip and his designs were on the left side and he saw most of the left strip. And I would bet money that's, this that's guy. why, yeah, I would bet money that's why his design looked different than mine because it's like, it's purely a matter of perspective, right? Like look at look at the left side, the, that mood board had like bright colors and like, yeah. you know, kind of a, more of like a fun light tone. And then mine is more serious and like oh, you mean tech. for Brandon's? Yeah, Brandon's yeah, super light. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I saw that orange. It's like the brightest thing that stuck out. And I'm like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Victor, let's get... so, let, so what I've done is I've added the text color because I'll need that. I've also added the background color as well. So color's good to go. Now, the last thing that I'll do is edit the button. So we've actually made an update to the style guide. Um, based on, you know, FinSuite suggested this update. Uh, we changed the way our, our classes work with buttons and I'll show you why it's it's better. So let's firstly just like reference the buttons here. So it uses 16 pixels top and above. Um, the text itself is using a one point line height. Um, so it's a pretty small button actually. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start editing uh, the original button. So. Uh, 16 pixels above and below. Uh, 
and then that's good. So that's the right spacing. Uh, and then I'm going to use text bold, uh, capitalized one point. Uh, let me just see quickly. Reference it. 16 okay. pixels. Yeah. While you're doing that, quick, I'm just going to bring up a question here uh, by Alan. Uh, I might bump this up. If you have any, if you have many pages to build in a project, do you build and style, uh, p style a page at a time, or go paste components across all pages first? What's your approach, uh, Devin? It, 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 am I getting this right? He's asking if, um, if you should paste everything from Rayloom first. Yeah, I believe so. So if, oh. if you have many pages in a project. Do you uh, do you do it like one page at a time, or do you like do it all at once? Oh, I yeah. So I mean, I, I typically design all of my projects first, but if if I were to do it, then you know I would have it all designed first, and then I would make sure every page is built out, and then hit it with a style guide. That way, it's all done at once, and mm. I can go back and forth between every single page and make sure that that things look good. Because I mean. Sometimes when you're working in Figma, things look great, and then you open it in a browser, and there's something magical about it that mm -hmm. flips a switch in your brain. You're like, wow, that, no, that doesn't look good at all. Mm. I think Eric has the same uh, approach, too. You build oh, he literally page. said that, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, guys, I have just updated the buttons. I don't know if you're watching, uh, but uh, what's cool about it is I was only I only need to make like a few changes to this this uh, button class, and because it's based on the the button class, uh, it's updated all all the buttons. Which is before we had like uh, a class specifically for button secondary. Mm -hmm. Now the button secondary is based off the button class, so we can make like a global change. And it's just for most builds, this would be like the fastest way. So getting these buttons. Nice. To designing these buttons was super quick. All right, so I've done everything that I need to do in this style guide. Um, I can even go ahead if I want to make this a little fancier uh, for my client. I can go ahead, I can add in the logo here and cool, they have nice. a nice style guide. Nice. All right, let's so jump good. in. Okay, right. let's start building. I'm going to start with, I'm just going to reference. Okay, so here's the design. What I will need to do is just reference how much space is on the left here, and the rest is pretty straightforward. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll reduce the 5% here because we don't need it on the side because the way Devin's done it. I'll also make this 80 pixels, which convert that to RAM is 5 RAMs. I'm gonna replace the logo here with the drop, and I'm gonna make the bottom two pixels. Uh, instead of one pixels. Cool. All right, now for the uh, links, what I'll do is I'll make these the same height as the nav bar. So I'll make this 4.5 rems and I'll convert this to flex aligned. Uh, and then what I'll do also is I'll make the borders two pixels. And there we have it. Now, last thing that I'll do is make the text bold and uppercase. And so that is basically done. We can we can leave the responsiveness to last, but to be honest, it's it's pretty simple. What I'll do is I'll just make this 5VW and then 5VW. And I would need to change a few things inside here, but you know, for mm -hmm. the most part, I'll just remove the the lines here and I have a uh, mobile, uh, a mobile nav bar ready to go. Okay, so nav bar is done. Next thing that I'll do is this section here. So the first thing is in the design, we have uh, this like outline effect and pretty sure you can't achieve this in Webflow without custom code. So That's what right. I've done is I've added some custom code to the global classes. Nice. Uh, which which I'll actually just dra drag here. And I'd convert this to a symbol as well. Oh, it's already converted. So that it appears across all pages. But if we open the global classes, oh, huh. another thing that I haven't added, let me just pick up, 
I'll get this quickly. Well, while he's grabbing that, I I would love to address this comment from Demetrius Theophanes. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Cool name, by the way. He said, I was hoping to see a build without going easy on the build, without divisible by 16, comma, awkward positions, etc. And the thing I want to say is 16 pixels isn't, um, you know, go, using that as a base isn't necessarily a crutch by any means. Um, and if anything, I'm using more of an 8 pixel grid system. And it's all about vertical rhythm when using that type of thing. It's not uh, ease of use necessarily, but it does make things easy. It's about how it looks in the actual product. When you're using that consistent vertical rhythm, things look better even if you don't know it. You can compare two different designs where someone's sort of done whatever they want and one where maybe they're spacing like eight pixels between the heading and the body and then, you know, 24 pixels between the next section. And you'll just instantly know like one is better than the other and it's for that reason. And I totally get what you want, you know, like you want to see something difficult and hard, but difficult and hard might be fun, but that's not what makes the money. You got to get it done. You got to get it to the client. <laughs> Love that. Well said. Uh, I want to transfer these over to everybody. Um, so I pasted, <laughs> I've paid, I'll, I'll send it to you, Josh, and maybe you can help, help me sure. out. One sec. Pop it in Slack and we'll, we'll uh... I'll put it in Slack for you. All good. Uh, while he's doing that, how, how are you liking uh, Adam's build, Devin? Is this kind of the approach you would take? I'm, I'm impressed actually. Yeah. I've been on a strictly design project for about a month now. And so like, I haven't had a ton of time to jump back into Webflow. And so for me, seeing him build this with Rayloom and also with a bit of like client first B2 is a great mm. refresher for me because mm. I literally had a tab open in Chrome that I closed because my connection was slow <laughs> of Joe re like moving a design from V1 to V2 that right. has maybe one minute played and that's just been paused since. Yeah, I've yet to watch that one too. So guys, I have added the custom code to the global styles. I've added it to the Slack. So basically I'm using this custom code right here, uh, which makes the text feel color transparent. Uh, I can actually convert that to white if I wanted to. Um, it's clipping the text. It's added a two pixel border around it. And I'm using the black that Devin has selected, which looks like this. And so, you know, if we look at the design, there it is. So I've also added a, a another version of this for the red class. So textile outline red, and I've made it so that it outlines red because Devin also uses that. Um, so anyway, that is the text. That's looking pretty good. Now time to edit uh, this part. So what I'm going to do is firstly, I'm just going to close the gap uh, between everything uh, in this uh, in this component. So Brilliant. going to the image list left, close the gap here, close the gap here, Go here, close the gap again. All right, so gaps are closed. The next thing that I'll do is I'll click uh, the header content header underscore content right i'm just going to remove the space because in devon's design that's what he's done he's put it right up against the right uh, and now i'm going to go to the i'm going to open this up so you guys can see click the image wrapper and i'm going to add a border to the top and a border to the right just make sure it's it's using that black for consistency as well so crazy how fast you are Nuts. And then the I was wondering thing, how was he going to do okay. the grid? Yeah. What's I think it's the yellow shoe that's next. Uh, let me see. Pink. Yeah, we can can help you out. Yeah, pink below so, yeah. and then green. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to delete there's two image lists. I'm actually just going to delete the image list below cuz it's it's repeating to to get oh. that whole loop effect. Yeah. Um so I just duplicated it, right? Uh, so I'm going to do the same oh, to the, to the right side. Yeah. So there's the, so the green one. First? Yeah. Yep. Green in the top right. And then purple below it. And then gray. 
below that. Great. Nice. Love what you've done with these two, Devin. Hey, yeah, guys, they're way the, more fun. The uh, black and white Nikes. On uh, left, on the left. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Hidden. okay, cool. Again, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. Yeah, All right, so let's good. go. Let's... Yeah. Cool. Hey, nice. All right, so that's being built. It works. Interactions, baby. <laughs> Last thing is, I'm pretty sure Devin's group these two buttons. And mm -hmm. I'm also going to flip them around. So I think this one is secondary and this one is primary. And what I'm going to do Look at is... that. That, wow, easy. that was fast. That easy. <laughs> Client first. Client first, everyone. And I'm also just going to drop the button group because you know this design doesn't have any space in between buttons. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna create a class here called is row that okay. basically just removes the border from this so that that just looks better. Mm. Um, all right, let's get to the next, the next step. Oh, also quickly, let's just like make this quickly mobile responsive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop that. I reckon that, that looks better. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to the image wrapper and I'm probably just gonna remove this border here and pull. Yeah, for now that's fine. I would probably tweak that, but don't get lost. All right, next, let's do the next component. So cop the drop. All right, so um, basically we're using banner 12 here. So banner 11 goes like this way, banner uh, like to the to the left and then banner 12 goes to the right so depending on what way i feel like going to the right works better with the above um mm. so it's it's like the way that you build this is a little backwards but anyway let's jump in i'm going to make the background of this section red um and then what i'm going to do is i think let's just sort of, so cop the drop probably appears twice and then you have the stars. Yeah, so, it alternates. So you have like one version and then another version and then just repeats. Yeah, sweet. So I'm gonna swap this out for the star. At the start Hey, here. Marquise. Marquise, good to see you, buddy. From Las Vegas, everyone. We got the Marine right. from Texas. I'm gonna tweak this, see, see how far I can get. Uh, see how close I can get. How are you feeling, Adam? Is it, uh, you want to just focus and build or you okay to... Good. No, I'm good. This yeah. is... You're in your element. This is good. I'm in my element. This is fascinating. I'm really enjoying this because I think that there are some things in here that are uh, somewhat unique. Like they stray pretty far from what you see on Rayloom. I think I tweeted something like that. Mm -hmm. And to see him build it so rapidly is like, wow, I'm I'm so out of my element. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's awesome. See, this, like... this font's got like some spacing issues. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so yeah. what I'll do here is I'd actually like play, play around with it. So like, I'll probably make that 1.2 and maybe this 0 0.8. And oh, just like keep line playing around issue? with it. Yeah. yeah, it has a very weird oh, uh, baseline. That's why the buttons, that's, by the way, uh, are a one, one dash line height because it's just a weird one. It's just a weird font. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, what I've also realized is that I need to add. Uh, hey, Brandon's here. What's that, Brandon? Brandon Herbal, where's he from? Have I met? Have I met you? I don't think I have. <laughs> How do you know Brandon? Some guy from Skeleton LLC or something. Like... Okay. Welcome, Brandon. Um, okay. Hey, guys, if you like this, missing? smash the like. If you're liking this design, if you're liking the commentaries, give us some love. Give Adam's mustache some love. It is good. <laughs> it is, it is growing, good. and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry, right, Adam. So, so what, you you managed to uh, have I'm just the outlining things okay. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So same. Whenever there's a loop, it's just fastest to duplicate. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, now, now I have dub duplicates of that marquee, so that now I can achieve the nice. copy yeah. of the yeah, marquee. Yeah, nice. All right, moving on. This section, pretty sure it uses like a gray background, so I'm just gonna drop that in. Cool. Now, go mm -hmm. back to here. Okay, so the headings extends out a little more, um, more than this. So I think that's cause, yeah, we're using max width large. We can just use max width extra large here. Okay, cool. This one, remember this was the H6, so heading style H6 is what I'm gonna use here. Um, actually, just gonna bump that H6 to, to that, and I'm gonna drop it down to 16 pixels. And then I'm gonna call this text color red. There we are. And then view, view all buttons already, all, all, all done. Um, quick note, I've made the above 0 0.8 and the below 0 0.7 just because of this font, because if I were to make it even, it wouldn't be like mm. centered in, inside of it. So this is where you just kind of play around with it, hey? With the decimal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, I was gonna show you how to convert this to CMS, but I think that's just gonna take way too much time because I really wanna get to this section, which is a lot of fun. So what Me I'm gonna too. do for this, yeah, what I'm gonna do for this, I'm just gonna speed through this. But uh, firstly, gonna go to the image wrapper and Devin's actually using like a one-one ratio to a square. So I can change that to a hundred percent. If I wanted mm. to do like a two, three ratio, uh, three, four ratio, hmm. I'll do that. If I wanted to do half oh. the ratio, I'll do that. So anyway. Wow, that's big brain, big brain move. <laughs> I'm, I'm stealing that. These are the hacks that you can't get on your own, so. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. That's that that's great. So awesome. Yeah, it's using aspect ratio. Okay, add that. Get my notebook. <laughs> and then probably to the to the last one, I would probably add. Uh, this is something I hate in Webflow is using. Is using uh, the slider to make edits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on this last one, I'd probably just go <clears throat> is last. Make that two pixels. Uh, connections start. Right, cool. So that's looking good. A little good. choppy. Okay. It's a little choppy on your end, Devin. Um, I just closed. I just closed that tab in Figma, so no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm just really enjoying this. Uh, Jacob Emerine said, I've only been here for five minutes and I feel like I've doubled my knowledge. Uh, nice. Same, dude. I mean, that ratio trick, mind blown. All right, guys. So let's, so as you can see, let's style this slider nav. Devin's gone with this, this slider nav. So let's have a crack at that. This isn't straightforward either. So uh, let's check out how much spacing he has. There we go. Uh, thanks, Devin, for this one. Uh, so he's got 20 <laughs> pixels around it. Okay, so it's all even. So, all right, keep in mind that these dots are actually um, eight pixels. So what I'm gonna do is 25 pixels is 0.75 rams. I'm just gonna make it all the way around. Whoa. Then I'm gonna add a border. And then I'm actually gonna make this 2.25 rem. So if you do the math, that just makes the eight pixels inside of it. Um, wow. Now, for this particular demo. <laughs> Bust out your calculator, guys. <laughs> if you blink. Yeah, I mean. It, <laughs> How did he, uh, math. you're gonna miss it. Oh man. Guys, uh, what I've done is I've added some custom code here so I can style the nav, uh, sorry, the, the slider colors slider dots and i actually might just include this in future um clo uh, future style guides just because i this is a good hack hmm. basically i have this custom code that says this is what the slider dot should be and this is what it should be when it's active and i've inserted the the, the colors that are needed hmm. so uh, i can change this to whatever color i want rather than relying on webflows black or white uh, which is which is nice Last thing that I will do is I'll just uh, switch this off and make it uh, square. Oh, wow. So, easy peasy. 
Okay, actually it wasn't too difficult. Um, all right, next is I'm gonna make this square. <laughs> Matt's and like, what this. in the world? Yeah, I'm with you, Matt. Me too, Matt. Me too. We're all, we're, we're seeing the master at play right now. Yeah. Sweet. That who button's else? done. Sliders. Who's it, who else is afraid of sliders in Webflow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's do this next part. By the way, this builds so much easier because we're using Figma kit, which is the upside of starting with the Figma kit. All right, I'm gonna, going to make the background here. And then just by default, I'm just gonna make the background color, uh, the text color here, white, so I can at least see. Okay, so spotlight. Now, this is header align. Two things I can do, I can go back to the library and paste in uh, a left align, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. What I'll do here is I'll just take it out of that and then I'll remove this class align center and yeah. I'll make this text color red and let's go back to the, okay, so custom fits. All right, so text span and then I'm gonna go text outline red. It's text style outline red. Wow. Okay. Now for this section, what I'm going to do is I need an outline. Pretty sure I need an outline around the inner. So a quick mm -hmm. uh, alternative way to do an outline for this one is probably to go two pixels and then two pixels again. Oh right? my God. I know what he's doing here. <laughs> and then go red. And then, <laughs> That's so all I need good. To do, then all I need to do is go two wow. pixels. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is so smart. Oh, wait. People in chat can't say they haven't learned anything from this because I'm learning a lot Sorry, right now. So it's the background, yeah? He's, was, I barely caught that. Yeah, yeah, it's the, it's the <laughs> background. Because we know like, that the stroke is two pixels between each Yeah. because I've made that consistent throughout the whole thing. And rather than sort of deal with the stroke on each object, mm -hmm. he's just like, you know what? We'll space it and we'll set the background to be red. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I'm not using like rems here. I'm using pixels because I actually, if it scales, I actually don't want that to scale. I uh, always want yeah. it to be two pixels. Good point, good point. Um, okay, so for this image, see how he's like, the top of him is showing. What I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go is align top, and then I'm gonna go to cover, hit the three dots and just align him to the top. So that's a class for that. So I'm just have more control over images, I guess. Um, let me just add in the rest. Uh, Eric was saying, Devin getting excited as someone builds his design is awesome. Yeah, how do you yeah, feel? You're, you're basically like the, the client, eh? <laughs> uh, this is not, uh, yeah, this is like the client over Adam's shoulder <laughs> yeah. going like, is that right? Yeah, yeah. cool. I, I mean, I wouldn't do it that way, but yeah, sure. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm, I really am learning a lot. Like my mind is blown for real. Yeah, yeah, see, even Brandon right. said that that background color trick blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's some instructions for this uh, for this uh, component. Okay. Yeah. I think, firstly, I'm just gonna add in uh, the the trigger interaction. So mouse in viewport, gonna click this and press and make it 90%. So that's the instructions number one. Also, if you rename this component, remember to update the classes in the HTML embed. So I'll explain what that is, but I'm just going to remove that for now. All right, so let's so get good. into let's get into this. So let me just see what this text is. Okay, it's using the heading style H6. So Guys, if you're enjoying heading. this, hit that like, show some love. This is so good. Yeah, how can you not? Is there like a double thumbs up button? <laughs> this is so helpful, even even for me. And I've I've been around a few speed builds already. All right, so guys, there is this uh, with this component. There is this uh, HTML embed that enables us to achieve this in, in a really easy way. And so let's just go over to the Figma file. And there's two states. So we have the original state where all the text is. Uh, outlined and it's white 
And then we have this state here where the text is outlined. It has white when, when you hover over that particular text, but the text also um, fills. So it goes to a, like a fill. And then the background also changes and you also have this like image uh, as well. Love this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to uh, the I'm going to go to this uh, embed up top and like just steal this this piece of code. Uh, actually, just all I need is this. I'm going to go back to this HTML embed. And so basically this makes all the text inside the component black, but actually I need to make all the text inside the component black outline. So uh, what I'll do is I think it's 1010 is the thing. So if I go and save, changes the text here. Okay, so this makes all text inside a component gray on hover, except for the one that you're hovering on. So I think what we need to do is repeat this. And then for this one, this has got to do with the actual text that you're hovering over. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that zero pixels. I'm gonna make this white. I'm gonna make the color white as well so that it feels. And so, wow, Ooh. there we are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beauty. Okay, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this section and I'm just going to create a, a div called uh, CTA37 background. And I'm going to make semantic. this, <laughs> I'm going to make this relative. I'm going to make the background absolute so that it fills, fills the space. Uh -huh. I'm going to drop this to minus two, minus oh, two okay. uh, Z index, just because I know that the image to achieve the image is like minus one. So I, I know oh, okay. this, it's minus one. So I want the background to be underneath the image. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add an additional class here on the actual component. And this is going to be like a, a background class. So when you hover over this component area, I'm going to make the background change. So I'm going to say background change, hover in, all right? And then I'm going to basically make this go from 0% opacity, initial, initial state to 100%. And then I'm going to make that in three seconds. So that's the hover in. And then I'm going to do hover out, just duplicate that. Boom, boom. Isaac leaning into just... the monitor, making sure he doesn't miss a thing. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not watching the live feed like you guys are on YouTube. I'm watching a very small yeah. version <laughs> on my browser. So I actually need to make this background red. I'm going to drop it back to 0% opacity. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open, oops, I'm going to open the CTA37 link image wrapper. I'm just going to display that. And I'm going to make sure that this image is, I mean, I could, let's just make it 30 rams, just make it a little bit thinner. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start like adding in the image. So to be honest, I don't really care about water right now. Yeah. Uh, so whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace the image for each. Nice. We'll and see if he does the overlay it. too. The little, the little filter effect. Mm. Right. Hey John, good to see ya. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the effect now. So basically okay. the way that we have it in the design is like the, it, it multiplies the layer, multiplies, uh, but that's based on what its background. So it multiplies with the background of red. It's also got pretty sure zero saturation. Yep. So that means it's grayscale. So in Webflow terms, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go filter. I'm gonna go grayscale. So already I got a grayscale and then I have blending modes and I'm gonna nice. go multiply. Now it's not multiplying because there's no background to it. Mm. So what I can do 
is I can actually go to the image wrapper and I can go red. And now I have the backgrounds that are multiplies mm. in, as you can see here. Um, so anyway, that is, that is that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to hiding that. Uh, and I'm going to preview what it looks like. Wow. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. That it's cool. it's now, so much cooler seeing it. Yeah. I think what you've done here with the tilt is, is really cool. Yeah. So let's go recreate that. I think that's actually going to make it, um, in my opinion. So what, what we need to do is remember I had that animation here. Mm -hmm. All I need to do is go into this. I'm going to duplicate this layer. So that's the link image. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click that, but then I'm going to create rotate, I think. And then I'm going to do minus 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish I had that layer up so I could test it. But let's just see if I got that right. Oh, was that what you're thinking of, uh, Devin? Or like, like it interacts or just a, a, a fixed angled uh, position? I mean, I, I originally had a, a fixed angle, but that's really cool. But this I like way. the sort of like mouse better. X position thing. Yeah, that is so nice. Well, it, this is I, I didn't know it was fixed, but this is what I was originally thinking of when I saw I, it. So it's yeah, interesting yeah. to see the interpretation. I didn't know it was oh, fixed either. It's in Figma. You oh, can only do so gosh. much. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. And oftentimes I have ideas in Figma that don't translate to Webflow. But yeah, this this one translated perfectly, I think. All right, guys, if you, right. Were to, you were to rank this animation out of 100, give us, uh, <laughs> let us know in the comments, out of 100. Very precise. 90, 70, 110. What do you guys think? So so real quick, that image wrapper, did you have yeah. to add the color to it or that was just to show, uh, show us like when you're um, tweaking that multiply effect? Yeah, I... I, I I, if I were to build it uh, in Webflow, I would probably need it. Um, right. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can also export it in, in in Figma as like this color, and it would work the same way. I just wanted to sort of yeah. show, like, oh, I, see. I okay. thought it was a good opportunity to show like how it could work. Also, I think a design change that I would make probably is mm -hmm. I know client first. They say not to do this on the section or not to style it too much, but I'm breaking the rules here. I'd probably mm, make this a hundred yeah. viewport height just so it can like really that. like give this section like its yeah, own, yeah. you know, moment. I approve. You approve? Hundred, nice. hundred. And I think that I think that making not exporting the image as it is in Figma too <laughs> makes sense, right? Because you want to be able to ex like swap out the images and not have to worry about Exactly. Like, no, that's extra hundred percent. Hundred percent. You can put any image and it will convert. That's the the upside of building in Webflow. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, also, I've noticed that this is a little different. So I'm just going to create, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create like a, a custom div here. Uh, a little flex box action. Yeah, a little bit of flex box. Actually, oh, let's go. So I'll go div, drag this in. Oh, quick. Uh, question here is this section just hidden on mobile since there's no hover uh that the previous um, yeah section? yeah good point uh, i'll show you what it looks like on mobile thanks eric yeah by the way the uh file that we prepped for you we just tweaked it a little bit based off of the main components like i added uh, like a tagline here and there but um anyways it's very easy just to like pull other other components and add it to uh, other ones. So, yeah. So let's go to mobile. What what it looks like on mobile? Um, basically, in the in the uh, embed, I've made it so it only works on desktop. Because to be honest, hover states don't work. So this uh, on desktop, but you can remove this. And when you do like click. Um, oh. Basically, when you do click, you can make it so that it appears on on mobile. But like hovers don't work on mobile, so I mean, yeah, you almost have to like, like yeah, yeah, hold your thumb over it, right? And then yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Let me just uh, 
Ah, also, I think, I think I made this hover state. I think it made, made it also not show on mobile. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because to be honest, yeah. Okay, so it worked for that one. But you're not mm. gonna, you're not really gonna see this. Only when you click. So mm. it's 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 more of a desktop uh, thing. Ah, okay, good to know. Um, all right, last one. I think we just have. I think originally we we, we were using like a different uh, a different component here. It was the I think it was Gallery Twenty Four, which is an uncommon component that as you scroll it like moves right. horizontally. But in all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of that just because it's so difficult to use and edit. Um, so I've just opted for the gallery version here. Um, but yeah, this, this component's very, very quite simple to use. Um, I'm just gonna like fill this with another image just to show you one thing about this component. Uh, I don't think we need the second slide. So- yeah. Sorry, real, real, I'm just gonna add more uh, information there. So it used to be okay. gallery 25 according to the rumble design, but now we're using gallery 20 gallery comp component gallery 20. Yeah. So in Devin's design, he's made this like second uh, image mm -hmm. a little bit smaller. Um, so with this particular component, it actually has an interaction built into it. So you just, you can just add to it. Basically at the moment, what it does is that anything off grid is like opacity. Mm. Um, so oh. it works, it works like that. To be honest, it doesn't show in Webflow, but when you publish it should show. So it works like that. But for Devon's, he's, he actually plays with the size. So what you do a is little you bit. go size. Uh, wait. Oh, I so, see. Yeah. Yeah. So actually no, Smaller, so right? it's scale, not, I think it's scale. Yeah. Not size. What's the difference between scale and size? Scale does basically scale keeps the aspect ratio. Okay. Plus, I believe that using scale is not considered a redraw on the DOM. So it's more performant than using size. There you go. Yeah. How are you guys liking the beats? Hope you're enjoying it. Um, I don't believe you have an opacity on it, but I'm just going to keep that. Okay. So, yep. nice. Okay, so this is what it'll sort of look like. So you have four, four. Nice. All right. Lastly, I'm going to just remove these, uh, for now. And we can, we could customize them, but I think we're going to run out of time. So I'm just going to like leave this here for now. All right. So this is heading style we are 43 minutes in i think this is the easiest section to do too this is sort of what me and brandon hit last so we kind of ran out of time right yeah this yeah this section's pretty easy uh you i think you stuck with the component here so yep all right 30 minutes is not a lot i'm just gonna call this is black this is a lazy way of doing it but works and then i think close the gap here cool all right and then lastly we have the footer real quick with that logo because you changed it in the style guide is it supposed mm -hmm. to um update automatically there is it all linked uh no it's not it's not linked okay i mean you could make it a symbol mm. and it would be oh, but the assets so. linked right is that what you're saying yeah yeah the app the assets linked is that what is that what you're asking no no just like that uh i think the classes like in the style oh, right. the logo, yeah, it would have the same class, but I guess I'm seeing that uh, it's just a, it's just an image, a blank yeah. image class. Uh, I love that rather than upload black. a new asset, he's like, we'll throw a filter on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I don't think this is gonna work. All right. Uh, yeah, this uh, is, is, is I, I'll no, probably no, just... no, 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 you're, you're so close. You just gotta, 
maybe. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, could, I, could hack, I could hack this as well. Um, put up. Logo. Right, that was a massive hack. I've used two two layers to get to it, but uh, yeah. Whatever. Cool. Predicts. All right. I think that's it. All right. Wow. Publish. Also, I can do mobile responsive too. Um, quickly, let's see how how this looks. Okay, so. so Forty-five just, minutes desktop. This okay. will be pretty straightforward. Also, probably go. Um, this is this is really really impressive, and I mean, to, in my opinion, this looks nothing like Rayloom's UI kit. Mm. It looks completely different, which is the point. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. It is the point. It's why it's like we've chosen to make this unstyled for so that it doesn't look like. You know the designs don't all look the same like that's something that you get a lot with uh templates but mm, we've really yeah. tried to make i mean that's why we have no opinion on design really uh, okay for this i'm probably going to go list on the right i'm probably just going to go two pixels and that should achieve what we need if we wanted to we could take this comp this content right and we could go five viewpoint wide wait and like make some space here but mm. to be honest i think it looks better mm. when it's filled yeah and i'll also put a black line above here would you agree Devin? yeah just on the whole container yeah let's put because you, you don't want the black line just to, to sort of scroll up past its overflow area yeah i think that looks good that is beautiful nice. cool yeah. and that's this is going to be like this is, yeah, this is mobile responsive. This All is, right, guess, is that time? Set. Wow. Boom. Wait one second, need to do mobile. So I'd probably just okay. need to like remove some, some spacing. And guys, this so. is Adam building it while talking, while explaining, yeah. answering questions. I reckon he can get that 22 minute mark. <laughs> Adam's saying, uh, make this a clonable. Yeah. For sure. Wow, wow. I want the clonable. I want the finished clonable. I don't want to make this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there anyone that's building out there with us? If you are and you're somewhat done, just just hit publish. Give us your link in the chat and we'll we'll pop it up right now. I think if, if Matt Johnson is still in chat, I think he said he was gonna be building okay. alongside. Matt, did you give up? Did you, are you still going? <laughs> I believe in you. All right, is that it? That's it, guys. I think. Wow. There we are. Under forty-eight minutes. That's that's wild. It, it looks so good. All right, wow, send me the I invoice. I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> and then mobile. Oh, boom! Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Pretty cool. Um, wow. Also, I read I read a tweet yesterday or this morning um, about folders work really well with the oh. rhythm library. You have all these like components here. Nice yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that plug, real quick. Let's do that real folders. quick. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure like okay for the header. Yeah, the header. Yeah. I'd probably call this like header uh, home header probably. Let's go sneaker. Sure. Yeah. Home header. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I forgot what the other ones are called. Okay, the, so the banner. So no, go to go... CTA 37. That's the categories one. So just rename that as categories. CTA 37 with that red hover state. Yep. Yeah. So yeah go, go categories. Um, categories. Yeah. So uh, guys, CTA this is, is... Um, this is client first. Sorry, this is a uh, FinSuite's feature on folders. You can rename classes, bulk rename classes. So we won't go too much into detail, but we're just definitely showing. Okay, the so I've, I've renamed like up. these. These. I'm just gonna go save. I'm um, and ready. So wow. now you'll go to the navigator and you'll see that these classes here are all renamed. I just need to rename the section class, which I can. Oh, but yep. basically, everything inside here is named client first. So you got the home heading. 
cool. I don't have to, to like rename, it's both renamed. So which if you is go to CTA nice. uh, 37, yeah, that one, below. yeah, right there. So that's home categories. Yeah. Anyways, that's really cool. Really good way to organize your classes. Yeah, it keeps everything super, super organized. Um, and I forgot to add for the sections, you can go, we've just made an update to make this process a lot easier. You can open that and then you can edit the sections. Mm -hmm. so, I love that. So this there is part of the V2 update. Um, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, I, that is it guys. Build was nice. done. Thanks so much, Devin, for uh, one for coming onto Reloom Rumble and like doing your thing. I know it's not it's not easy, uh, but also for for you know after the the Rumble, you came back and you did like a refresh of the design. The design was already good, but you made it even better. And I just appreciate you taking the time to come on and also to do that uh, and you know create this beautiful website. So appreciate that. I mean, it feels like you building it is the reward for the competition right like the, winning isn't the reward getting to watch you build it in 47 minutes 57 seconds is the, the real reward yeah um i'm glad i, I love doing this and I, I can't believe people even show up to to watch me do this so uh, <laughs> yeah matt matt it. gave up his build wow. just to watch you <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of people rewatching this. This is great. Um, awesome. Real good stuff. Um, all right. That wraps it up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Devin, Adam, what are some, or De Devin, what are some key takeaways that you can take from uh, just watching Adam build? I'm still thinking about that small little hack that he did with the grid where he just yeah. did a, a space between it. I think that's like such a, a good move to sort of butt everything up against one another i'm thinking about that and and um i guess just like the 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 order of things that he started to sort of build things and i think is really smart like i would have done the same where like you you know you, you put it together first then you do the, the type style guide and the color mm -hmm. i think the way that he handled it from top down it's like really patient really clean i'm gonna clone this clonable yeah hey adam could you share the um that published link we'll put it in the chat for people to check out as yeah, well for yeah sure. we'll, we'll make we'll make this a clonable so sure um, okay yeah perfect and for anyone trying to build along um, apologies for not having the, the custom code ready for you but we'll put that in the clonable so you can take that custom code as well okay all right guys um brilliant Devin, thanks for coming on the stream uh is there anything you want to actually yeah you, you want to share a little bit about uh what you're up to or how people can <laughs> get to know you more uh yeah so uh, right now i'm just i'm primarily working on like one big design project so i haven't touched webflow in a bit but um in the meantime i've been working on a little webflow ui redesign project that mm -hmm. seems to be blowing up pretty good it's gotten a good response and like it's really help me to keep going and, and, and keep working on it. Sort of my anti-anxiety, like nighttime, relaxed thing. <laughs> um, and, it, you know, and if you want to get a hold of me, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Devin S. Fountain, uh, or you can find my agency at Good Time Agency or goodtime.agency on the internet. Awesome. Let me pull that up real quick there. There you go. And this is a fresh site, right? You just recently built yep. this. Really nice. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, last announcements. We are getting uh, ready for the Reloom Design League. So if you guys want to check it out, go reloomdesignleague.com. Uh, sign up. We got uh, some people already entering in some amazing video applications, and it's like so entertaining to watch. So uh, if you guys are interested and you want to check out a Rumble and uh, win cash prize uh love to have you on there so all right guys i think that's it we're over time but uh so glad to have you all here adam thanks for um just bringing your magic it's awesome all right guys thanks thanks guys see you guys have a good week Till next time see ya bye-bye